So, I'm home following the game against Brentford. I'm just going to say it now. Brentford are the best team which we've come against at home this season. I don't think I've seen a better Premier League team that's come to Luton and performed like that. They wanted it more. They won their second, you know, the battles in the air, the second battles, the third battles, the fourth battles. The pressing was absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to butcher his name, but Embremo, um, the winger, um, the Cameroon attacker, outstanding. One of the, Probably one of the best players I've seen come to Luton this season. I believe he's just recently come back from injury as well. He hasn't been fully fit all season. And if he's not even 100%, you know, I can't imagine what he's like when he's 100% because he was absolutely outstanding. They were a team that just simply wanted it more. If you was to say which club, you know, wanted to stay up in the Premier League, you would definitely say they do. And they are safe now. Like, this win definitely confirms that for them. I didn't think they were going to go down. I thought at one point, maybe. But the amount of injuries they had as well throughout the season. They're in a false position. They've got lots of quality in that squad as well. And I think they may look at this season as maybe a poor one. But if they can recruit quite well in the summer, which we all know Brentford are really good at recruiting... You know, they can have a much more positive season and try and push for those European places um, next year. But for us, shambolic. Absolutely shambolic. Today's performance reminded me in the season where we tried to stay up in the championship, where we lost 5-0 to Reading at home. And I questioned whether the players wanted it. It was absolutely perfect. That performance was, and today was absolutely pathetic from Luton. We didn't get outdone by quality today. We got outdone by hard work. Brentford just simply wanted it more. Yes, they have the quality. There's no denying that. But so do we. But we didn't win battles in the air. We didn't win second battles. We didn't win third battles. We were very slow with the ball. We didn't pressure teams like we normally would do. We were awful today. Absolutely awful. And for the first time this season, I question whether the players actually wanted it or not. We've not performed like that all season. We've been battered. We've been, you know, we've given it a good go. And you can tell that the players gave a real good effort in today, um, in, in other matches. But today, we gave no effort. There was, not, there was not enough in that. People may say to me, Lewis, you're being a bit too harsh there. I'm sorry, I'm not. There was, we, were fo we were miles off it. Absolutely miles off it. And we were, I, at no point in today's match, I thought we were going to get something from the game. At no point at all. And it's, I thought it was a disgrace. Considering we had a massive boost before the game with Lukonga and Osho coming back into you know into the starting eleven, I thought that would have gave everyone a massive lift. It done the complete opposite. How does that even work? It done the complete opposite. And then just another thing as well. Yeah, it did a complete opposite. We've defended better with no defenders. At times this season, we've we've been bare boned. Man City. Away from home last week, we performed and defensively done a lot better than we did today. For an hour, we at least gave a, we tried against Man City. Today, we didn't even bother. Heads went down after the second goal, and I couldn't believe it. I was, I was like, what am I watching? I was questioning, am I watching the same team? That's not the looting team which we've seen all season. It isn't. And it's a shame that we're doing it at the most, you know, vital point in the season where we've got five games remaining, trying to stay up. We've now blown a massive game, especially at home. In my opinion, we're down. I will applaud anyone who can try and stay positive after today. But I just can't. I'm being realistic as possible. I don't think we can get three wins in our next four. I, that's what we at least need I don't think we're going to do that. I think we've got to rely on another point deduction for both Nottingham Forest and Everton to even stand a chance. I just don't think that's going to happen. I don't see where we're going to get the wins. Honestly, I just question a lot of things with these with this squad of players. We're trying so hard. The, obviously, the injured players have come at the wrong time. We needed them a lot sooner. But, God, man, we've just blown a massive opportunity. We really have. That was a massive game for us. Even a draw at least keeps something alive. I can't see us going to Wolves next week and winning. I just can't see that. But if we want to stay up, we've got to do that. I just don't see it happening. I really don't. 
And I hope I am proven wrong. I hope I get proven wrong, but I just don't see it. I really don't. I'm trying to believe in that and I try and dream about that and Luton trying to stay in the Premier League but I'm just coming to the reality that we're going to play championship football next year which isn't a bad thing you know I, we will just take a step back as a football club to hopefully take two steps forward and that's what I'm, I'm thinking is going to happen but right now I think we're done and dusted I, I did not what I saw was what was massive was really worrying especially after the second goal the goals we conceded were so bad it, and if I'm being honest with you, Brentford could have scored a lot more. We didn't look like scoring ourselves. It's a real shame. I think we've let the players for the first time this season have let us down a little bit, um, which is really harsh to say. But they have. I think today they let themselves down. They let us down and they let Edwards down as well because I felt the tactical side of things, it was a bit poor. When we moved to a you know, four at the back, I thought that would have given us more of a chance. But 2-0 down at half-time... We just blew it. We blew it. Gave ourselves too much of a mountain to climb. And we've given ourselves too much of a harder job. And I just don't see how we're going to win three matches. If we stay up, it'd be one of the greatest Premier League survival you know, cases ever. But I just don't see it. I really don't. Morris, for me, was man of the match. Winning his battles in the air. Trying his best as much as possible. I actually saw a solid performance from him. But he needed help and no one helped him around him. The fact that Osho was given man of the match is absolutely laughable when he was miles off it. And I appreciate he's only just come back from injury, but he was miles off it. He was at fault with some of the goals. Alfie as well was miles off it. I was very disappointed with him. He, I would have taken him off if I had the opportunity to. But, wow, they need a kick up the arse. Don't know if they're going to get given it. We're bare bone as it is, but that was a real disgrace of a performance. And I do question whether or not they want to stay up because that was just bad. It was bad. Fair play to Brentford, but wow. I, I just I don't see us winning against next week. I just don't. I really don't. I think we'll beat Everton. I don't, I don't know why I'm saying that, but I just question us. We need to try and stay in it. I don't know what's going to happen between Forest and Everton tomorrow. But right now, if you said to me which team is more likely going to stay up, I'll, I'll tell you Burnley are. With the way they're playing and they're winning matches, i say they're more likely. But that's just the way I'm, I'm seeing it. But massive, massive blow that is. And I hope that's just a smack in the face for a lot of them because you can't perform like that. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. You know, five with four games now remaining. Don't now put in performances like that. You know, you haven't done it all season. Don't do it now. And, yeah. That's my thoughts. I need a break. I need some time. Because that, it's just really, really, really frustrated me um, watching that. But, um, onwards and upwards, I guess, to Wolves next week. Let me know your thoughts. And, yeah, see you all in the next one.